What's up everybody, Moppet here from Eat Sleep Mix Repeat. Today we're going to be talking about strawberries and blueberries, which strawberries and blueberries are basically um, probably the most common uh, flavor profiles as far as fruits go for DIY, you know, which isn't surprising, you know, everybody loves strawberries and blueberries. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the ones I use. Uh, my flavor sash is, you know, I've been mixing for two and a half years and my flavor sash is maybe at 170 flavors right now. So, yeah, I don't quite have that funding as some people where they like been mixing for three months and have like fucking 600 flavors and they probably only tested maybe like 40 of them. So the good thing is like the flavors I do have, I, I know most of them pretty well. I've mixed with them a lot. I haven't really had a choice because I have nothing fucking else to mix with. But so we're going to talk about some of my favorites. Um, and yeah, hopefully this video helps you out. So we'll go with the strawberries first. So first up we have, let's see if I can get my shitty phone to do this. So first we have is TFA Strawberry Ripe. Okay, first time trying that and it obviously didn't work out. Uh, so TFA Strawberry Ripe. So this is a really great strawberry to start out with. It's, um, it's a little on the tart side. I mean, it's still artificial, like it has an artificial strawberry flavoring, but it's a little closer to authentic strawberry where it's not like overly sweet. You're not gonna get that like syrupy, really like flavor notes out of it. You're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get a little bit closer. I don't know. This is pretty much, I think when people think of what they want out of a strawberry, this is basically what they want, you know? So uh, it's a really good one to go for. Like if you, if you just want to pick up like one strawberry or something like to start out with, this. This is a good one. It's used in tons of flavors. Yeah, it's got that little bit of tartness, but it's still sweet. It's nice and bright. Um, you're gonna want to use it, it. It's like a medium range flavor. You know, you're probably gonna want to use it in a mix around like anywhere from maybe four to six, seven percent, and standalone maybe like eight to ten percent. So yeah, great flavoring to have. And then, so next one we're gonna talk about is. Capella Sweet Strawberry, and this is my second four ounce bottle, and it is completely empty. I don't think I could even squeeze out a little bit more if I wanted to, but I kept the bottle so I can do this video at least. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna get an order in soon. There's a few flavors I need to fucking re-up on right now. But this is probably, this is one of my all time favorite flavors, it's Capella Sweet Strawberry. Um, this is definitely a sweeter, more artificial strawberry. Uh, this one you're gonna get more of that that uh, like strawberry syrup kind of feeling to it. This one's used in fucking everything. I, don't know, I use it all the time. It's in a bunch of my mixes. Uh, it's just in a ton of mixes, you know. And they compare, these two go well together. Um, really, these are probably the only two strawberries you really need. You know, it's really the only two I really use because depending on, if you put them together, and you, let's say you want a little bit more on the sweet side, you put in, you know, a little bit more Capella Sweet Strawberry. If you want it a little bit more on the tart side, you put in a little bit more Strawberry Ripe. And you could really, I mean, the combinations are really endless. And you could really adjust them to, to fit your recipe and your needs. So these are really two. It's good to pick up these two early on and just play around with them a lot. Um, sweet Strawberry is, it's in the pretty much a similar range, you know. I usually still use it about that. Uh, this one I might go down like to three percent, depending on how much I want it to be be a main profile. But like that, still the same, like that three to six percent in a mix. You know, probably about eight percent is good for a standalone if you want to test it out. Oh. Sorry, I've been drinking some beer, so. Um, but yeah, definitely this is this is a must, man. This is like, I love this stuff. I really love this stuff. And then the last strawberry I want to talk about is a newer strawberry that I picked up. Um, you might have saw my real flavors promo video, which I'm going to do a new one soon. I'm still waiting on the second promo flavors to get in. My wife just went and checked the mail and they're not here today, which kind of sucked. I was hoping I could mix them up and start taking notes this weekend. But um, So Real Flavors Strawberry. This is uh, from their Super Concentrate line. And this is a great strawberry. Like, I mean, just hands down, I'm going to start using this one a lot more. It's, um, it's kind of that in between, you know, like they used like Capella Sweet Strawberry and TFA Strawberry Ripe together. I would say this is like, usually how I do my strawberries where it's a little bit more on the strawberry ripe side to get that tartness out of it. And uh, that's kind of where this flavor lands, really. It really is just kind of a combination of the both. And honestly, if, if you're like brand new to mixing and you don't have any strawberries and you're like, I don't want to mess around with fucking 20 different strawberries, I just want one. This is actually a really good one to get 
it's just it's just a really versatile and just all around good strawberry. So yeah, this is a good one. I was I was pretty pretty surprised. I wasn't expecting much. And then um, another thing I wanted to talk about with strawberries is sometimes you'll get this like waxy kind of kind of t kind of flavor note out of strawberry. And with none of these three, you really get it. Maybe if you use it too high, but and I was expecting to get it out of the real flavors. Just I don't know. Um, like I have some like Loran's natural strawberry or some crap and that one is waxy it's disgusting like and unfortunately i bought it early on and have a four ounce bottle of it and i've used it like maybe three or four times trying to get it to work and it's just it's just not good and it's weak and uh i don't know and then the other thing i want to talk about strawberries is is uh if you want that more authentic like a little bit of green and earthiness um i don't know for unfortunately i don't have any yet i need to pick some up but from what I've heard is Inawera Shisha Strawberry and uh, Favora Alpine Strawberry are kind of the two that it seems most people use to get that, that more like earthy, natural strawberry. So I'll be picking those up pretty soon here, hopefully, and get to test those out. And then I'll probably eventually do an update video where I talk and I'll throw those ones in there and tell you what I think about them. But um, yeah, that's mostly what I got for strawberry. So now we're going to talk about blueberries. So where do I want to start? Um, we'll start off probably with the most versatile and and mo probably the most like basic blueberry and that'd be a flavor west blueberry so flavor west blueberry is pretty much exactly what you would expect a blueberry flavoring to taste like an artificial blueberry flavoring to taste like it's it's um it's a little linear it's it doesn't have a whole lot of it's not very complex or anything but it is amazing to use in recipes like it's just so versatile and whenever you want blueberry as a main note or an accent or anything it's a great one to use it'll come out nicely you know you'll definitely be able to taste it sometimes with blueberries they tend to get hidden you know or other flavors i'll just take them over um, flavor west blueberry is 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 probably one of the easiest blueberries to work with too so this is definitely what i would suggest as your very first blueberry to pick up um and that's yeah so it's more on the artificial side but it's just very useful very versatile and this is definitely where I would go for your first blueberry. So the next one I want to talk about is Flavor Art Bilberry. Now I kind of have a weird relationship with Flavor Art Bilberry. Honestly, I don't really like it that much. I really don't. Um, I do use it every once in a while when, when it's necessary, but it's definitely not as versatile as Flavor West. Um, you get a lot of earthiness in this one and it's very musky you know so if that's what kind of what you're going for maybe you're going for like a crazy tea or if if you kind of want to take your your recipes a little bit out of the ordinary flavor uh flavor our bilberry is a good one to use um but yeah you're gonna pick up that like earthiness and and muskiness some people say it tastes kind of like dirt you know like you get this really like crazy dirt taste from it which i get you know but it is useful use it very fucking low like I kind of screwed up buying a 30 mil bottle because I've used this quite a bit and there's like almost nothing out of it. Like, just pick up a 10 mil and it, a 10 mil will last you a fucking year. Um, I mean, you want to use it low. Like I don't use it really above like half a percent. You can use it up to 1% if you want. Um, there's recipes I've tried where they've tried using this as a main blueberry and they're just fucking awful. So this is more of something you want to add along with blueberries like let's say you're using flavor west blueberry and you just want to add a little bit more authenticity to it and you just want to make it feel like more of like a real blueberry and maybe you want that little musky note you know and that's definitely something to to kind of use every once in a while use like a quarter percent of this or something and yeah you'll definitely taste it it's a very strong flavoring but so i wouldn't pick this one up as your first blueberry because it's just not a good blueberry on its own but it's it's nice to have around um uh, and then the last one I'm going to talk about is Capella Blueberry Jam. And this one I just kind of kind of came across on ECX and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. I'll try it out. You know, I was looking for a good blueberry. Um, and this is an awesome blueberry. I actually, this is probably my favorite blueberry now. It's got a, it's got more of an authentic feel to it. I mean, it does, it really does taste like a blueberry jam. You know, you get this like syrupiness to it. You get you get a good amount of sweetness you get a little bit of tartness um so it's like it's more like a filling like a blueberry filling it's fucking amazing in bakeries with your donuts and your pies and things of that nature so this is a really good one i really would would suggest picking this one up and giving it a try i've been really enjoying it and then um let's see how do i want to go about this so 
Shout out to Chef John for sending me uh, TFA Quince. TFA Quince is fucking amazing. If you're if you're familiar with using um, an Oera cactus with like your apples and pears and apricots and your your lighter fruits and it gives that juiciness and it just really makes your like your lighter um, your lighter fruits pop out. Uh, Quince does that for for berries. Like it, it gives a little bit more tartness to them. It just makes them pop and it really just brings out those more authentic notes. Um, so I did a quick Google search of quince because I've never had a quince. It's like this it's kind of yellow fruit and I guess they're really tough and kind of hard to eat raw but people cook them up and it was saying like um, yeah they're really like tart and kind of sour sometimes with some sweet I guess they get sweeter as you cook them and, and I guess a lot of people mostly use them in cooking and they use them to accentuate other fruits which is great because that's honestly with mixing that's that's really what its main use is for so and this one you use really low you know like quarter to half a percent throw it in with your uh with your berry mixes and it'll really make your make your stuff pop out and kind of kind of give it that edge over over other people's recipes so thanks chef john for sending me this i've been having a lot of fun with this one it's great it's good as a standalone mix it up at like two percent and it's actually a really decent standalone uh it just tastes like some crazy kind of berry you know i've never had quince in real life but yeah tfa quince i wanted to pick up and then the last flavoring i want to talk about is a tfa blackberry yeah i love this flavoring this is like one of the first actually my first recipe i used it had tfa blackberry in it and blackberry is kind of like um it's kind of like blueberries kind of hot cousin i guess i don't know it's a uh, it's just got this like really complex flavoring to it it comes out awesome you know you really can't use like too much or too little it'll overtake a recipe like if you don't want it as a main note use it really low like i think um i've been using it at like two percent and under lately just because it, it will overtake a recipe but when i first started mixing i used to just mix this shit up by itself standalone at like six to eight percent which is pretty high but this one you can go high it doesn't really get like perfumey or anything when you go too high so but you can mix this up at like six percent and i used to vape this shit all day i used to have like a 50 mil i always kept around of just just straight up tfa blackberry and it's just really good it's really different like it, it's similar to blueberry but you get a little bit different flavorings out of it um i think it translates to a vape better than blueberry does it's a really fun flavor i think it's a very underused flavor and I'm probably trying to break that because I use it in a lot of flavors. Actually, I have a good one coming out that I'm almost about ready to release. So uh, I don't want to give out too much about it, but it's using Sticks Mix. So shout out to you, Ty. But and that's really all I have today for um, for my for my blueberry and strawberry flavor talk or talking flavors is what I'm calling it. Trying to be a little different with the same shit, right? <laughs> But talking flavors, strawberries and blueberries. So I'm um, sorry for, you know, I have finals coming up. And so life's been a little crazy lately. So um, I have finals in like two weeks. And then after that, I might be moving soon too. Uh, it looks like we're going to be renting a house, which is awesome. We live in this little crappy two-bedroom apartment. And it looks like we're going to be moving into a three-bedroom house, which is actually cheaper than our apartment. We're just going to, it's going to make my commute a little crazy. We're moving out to the desert, it looks like. But it'd be nice. I'll actually be able to set up a mixing area and hopefully be able to shoot more videos. And over this summer, I'll have a lot more content coming out. Hopefully do some more writing for uh, for the website. And as always, you know, check it out. Check out the the, uh, the Facebook group. Check out the website. Check out our ELR. I'll post, always post description or, uh, links into the description. And oh yeah, and we just hit 400 members on the on the Facebook group, which is awesome. Like I think it, it wasn't even that long ago. I was like, oh, we're about to hit 200, and now we hit 400. And that's fucking great. You know, we are really kicking ass over there. So thank you to everybody out there. Thanks to John for letting me be a part of this and keep spreading the word. Word, man. Eat, sleep, mix, repeat. See y'all later.